Humanity is divided into three groups regarding their level of contamination. The first group is those who exhibit heavy grays DNA contamination. They include those who torture or support torture by others for any purpose whatsoever. Murderers, unless in self-defense, which sometimes occurs in situations such as domestic abuse by a contaminated spouse. Rapists, child molesters, child abusers, senior citizen abusers, spouse abusers, those who commit violent robberies, illicit drug manufacturers, distributors and pushers, those who engage in enslaving women, girls and young boys in prostitution rings, criminals who use their form of religion as an excuse for their heinous crimes. This includes all religions, fantasized extremists such as suicide bombers, those who destroy lives by depriving them of ways to support themselves for their own greed. This includes the top echelon of corporate executives who have lost any sense of humanity in their treatment of thousands of people and feel that this is strictly business. Elected officials who have sold out for power and greed and who are willing to destroy their own countries to aggrandize themselves. Elected officials who are willingly participating in destroying the ecology of the planet because of their close association with oil corporations and other forms of commercial energy producing countries and their corrupt rulers. Any politician, military personnel, or anyone else who is engaging in trade with the Greys, allowing them to continue the atrocities in exchange for technical and military knowledge. Lawyers and judges who play games at the legal system for their own gain, sending child molesters, murderers, and other violent offenders back into society, ready to prey again on the innocent, all in the name of reasonable doubt. Those who destroy lives and reputations by identity theft, those who torment animals. These include not only people who hurt and mutilate animals for their own sick pleasure, but also those who support dog fights, cock fights, and bull fights. Those who beat their horses, donkeys, or dogs, who, who legally mutilate cats by removing their claws or hurting their vocal cords. Owners of puppy mills who force female dogs to reproduce by animal rape and those who abandon their animals or chain them indefinitely, sometimes allowing them to die by such neglect. Prostitutes, extremely dangerous people, I said. I don't believe there's a much a chance of reforming them. No, no one whatsoever, said the council. People who engage in such practices are doomed. As far as we are concerned, they are pure evil. I'm not casting judgment on any.